So this is mm -hmm. uh, Bjor from the video where I go over uh, hackers, a hacker that exposed himself while live streaming. So the first thing I want to ask you is uh, when did you start playing Destiny? Like in general or Destiny 2? Uh, in general, yeah. Just in general. When did you start playing Destiny? Uh, Destiny 1 beta. Okay, so and you've been then... playing for years and years now then. Yeah. And when did you start cheating in Destiny? Like, obviously, it's exposed now. It's out there. You know, we're talking about it. And when did you start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely open to it. Um, I started Monday, uh, last like two weeks ago in Burnout. You started on on that burnout, burnout when burnout came back in rotation but before then you weren't cheating in, in destiny you didn't cheat prior to any of that nope that was my first week and uh yeah and and why why did you start doing it what was the motivation i know you briefly mentioned it in the video but i just want to recover some of those points uh so i i don't think i was bad before but i kept being cheaters and i honestly gave up and I, I was going to take a break from Destiny, but then I thought, well, I can just cheat my way out of it. And it was, like, really stupid to say, but it's like, whatever, you like, you can't beat them, you join them kind of thing. And it was really messed up on me. And then I realized after um, I got exposed that it was really bad for me to do that. Okay. And so another question I wanted to get at with that is mm -hmm. um, what cheats did you use? We're using uh, wall hacks, we're using aimbots, we're using respawn, did you use infinite power ammo? Only walls for most of the time, except for the one game against Panda. We were losing 3 0, so I went, I pressed insert, and I changed my stuff to aimbot. Okay, wow. So you were able to live stream and hide your live stream, hide this from your live stream, correct? Oh, whenever I live stream, I did not cheat. So I when you live stream, you weren't cheating because you weren't able to hide it? You no, know, it wasn't that. I was able to hide it, but I it was it was gonna be too obvious. It was gonna change my whole play style, and I knew where people were gonna come from. So, whenever my clan told me I was cheating, I had to live stream, and I was doing it without cheats, and my okay. skill was different than when I had regularly. Okay, and so <clears throat> you're live streaming. You're not using cheats, so that way you're not accused of a cheater. You don't get clipped. When you're off yeah. live stream, you're playing a lot, and you are using the cheats. And you're yeah, toggling them on, or you're just using them at all times? Uh, most of the time, I use, like, only walls, no aimbot. But if my team is losing really bad, I turn on the aimbot. Okay. And how many games would you say that you were able to play while using cheats over the past few weeks? 300 or 400. Gee, that's yeah. a lot. No, actually, no, actually, forget it. Forget about that. I did not play the whole map of Anomaly. So I only play like 200 matches or 100 on there. Okay. So hundreds of <clears throat> hundreds of games though still, yes? Yes, people's cards are ruined because I don't know why. I was being a dick. Yeah. Um, did you feel any guilt at all during that? Like, are you like, were, when you win the games, when you beat people, was there guilt or was it just like, nah, like, how, what was did. the feeling? I did because my buddy Disp, he streamed sometimes and people came to his stream saying I cheated. Mm -hmm. And I kept denying it and he didn't know. That's when I felt guilt because I knew I was lying to him and the other people. And at some points I wanted to confess to him, but then I didn't know how he was going to react. So I didn't. And then I got outed or exposed for it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where the deceit would come with that. So you didn't want to be... So you would deny the cheats, but he was also your friend. Uh, and so you had to essentially lie to your friend, and then your friend had to decide, does he want to believe some random person that comes in his chat claiming that you're cheating, or, or does he want to believe his friend, you know, that's, you know, you, you're seemingly nice, you're seemingly friendly. So I could see where that comes from. Um, has your account actually been banned yet at this point, even after all of this controversy? Uh, I do believe I got banned. I haven't checked. I DM'd Bungie. Telling okay. them that I cheat and that if anybody I play with, I don't want them to get banned. So Where did you DM them at? Uh, I DM them via email. You or emailed like Bungie? Well, how do you call it? Like the website where you go report people? Oh, okay. I typed a, like an essay and then saying that, or kind of like a paragraph saying that I don't want people that I play with them banned. And I typed my whole like Bungie.net, all my stuff. So I get banned myself and not them. 
Okay. So at this point in time, you're still not even certain whether or not you got banned. Have you tried to log in at all recently? Uh, yes. I did today in the morning to check, and I'm still not banned. Everything's on my account perfectly fine how I left it. That's crazy. That's crazy that you still have, even after all of this, you know, and you even reported yourself that the banning still hasn't been issued yet, you know? I feel like that's definitely yeah. some, like, some like you've played hundreds of games, you know, you've even openly said that you've cheating. There's even visual footage of you having the files on your computer, you, so it's that's pretty rough. I mean, you know that you're going to get banned. You're aware of that, so, you know, it would just be nice that if Bungie could do so in a, in a timely fashion, like, because you shouldn't be you shouldn't be able to play right now you know like what's to stop you from getting logging on right now and just continuing to play it you know like nothing right like i can if i didn't get exposed i can just if i'm like a normal cheater that just like cheating in general i can go i can still play the game even though i got exposed yeah it's really stupid that's crazy yeah uh, i wanted to ask you a little bit about some context of some things you mentioned in the video you said that you did have cheats in i think it was nba 2k um yeah i want to yeah go for it and the the question i had was a little bit off topic but i i wanted to ask did the cheating in the other games sort of normalize the cheating and make it easier for you to cheat in this game like did you just sort of have you cheated in a variety of games and that cheating in games just was normal for you or regular for you because you cheated in past games i uh destiny or oh, sorry not yeah destiny was like technically my first game cheating NBA, what it was, it's like a program that lets you get a uh, free in-game current like currency, okay. which allows you to like upgrade your characters. It wasn't like cheating, cheating like everyone. It's like on PC, it's like a regular thing. Okay. So that's what Cheat Engine came from. Okay. So but yeah, this is Destiny was like the first game I ever used aimbot or anything like heavy cheats like that. Okay. Thank you for that. If you could go back in time, what would you do differently now? Definitely not buy aimbot, and instead of try to practice on my aim and actually get good at the game. I mean, if you and, and think about it, if you had lost the games, let's say you lost the games that you had won because of the cheats, what was what was on stake? What was at stake for you in those games? Were you doing recovs? Were you doing paid recovs? Were you making money off of this? What was the what was at stake for you? Were you doing carries? What was it? I didn't do anything. It was just me playing with this all the time. So it's just you playing with your friend and your friend doing carries or your friend doing some recovs or something. So you, you wanted to win the games because your friend? No, he didn't do recovs. It was we he almost, do like we picked up we picked up friends. Okay. Like we either we didn't find a friend, we picked up somebody from L F G and we f make sure the the person from L F G was good. We never did like an actual carry. Okay. So you just picked up people and played trials and you really wanted to win, but there wasn't any money at stake is what I'm trying to clarify. Yep, zero dollars came to me when I was cheating. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that because I, I could see why someone would, I mean, obviously I wouldn't want ever, you know, acknowledge it or say that this is why, but I could see some motivation for someone who's doing, you know, recovs yeah. to be like, all right, if I just, you know, yeah. log in and I turn these fine. sheets on, then I can make this money or I can, you know, do these carries and, uh, you know, and get them done efficiently. So I, I didn't know if that was a motivating factor behind that. And I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah, I did it just for the sole fact to win, which is kind of like, you know, that just makes it even worse because I wasn't even getting anything from it. Uh, it. It makes it worse, maybe in your by your definition, but I would say by the more popular definition, not as bad. Uh, it's still terrible, of course. You know, you don't want to cheat in the game. It really does ruin the integrity of the game, ruins the community. But at the same time, if you were profiting, you know, X amount of dollars off of it due to recubs or whatever it may be, that would definitely look way worse. And, you know, you don't want to be under that. Uh, umbrella for sure so probably about almost one of the last questions i have for you is uh if you could give any advice to anyone out there that is cheating uh what would it be well, uh don't cheat you're gonna be exposed somebody's gonna find out it's gonna let the consequences even if you like cheating even if you like you're bad at the game without cheats um just don't cheat in general just make your life it will ruin your life and then other games coming by and you decide, well, I can't play legit, I have to use cheats, so you'll keep buying cheats, and it'll ruin your future. You can maybe use your future as a way to get better at video games. Like, you know, instead of buying those like $20 in perfect game, get them on a Kovacs and get your aim better. And yeah, just get better at like games and don't cheat. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for that, and I appreciate you, you giving me your time. And, uh, you know, I hope that you've, you know, Obviously, you've mentioned that you've sort of learned from this lesson, and uh, 
hopefully anyone out there watching that's under similar circumstances will uh, learn from this as, as well yeah. and you know change their mind about cheating and obviously season 11 they're going to crack down on it so anyone that wants to continue cheating from this point on they're going to be you know exposed even more or not be or get banned in season 11 so uh yeah. it's things are going to get a lot better um mm -hmm. one last thing i wanted to say is that i know a lot of people probably have given you some some harsh harassment maybe even some bullying and uh i definitely don't think that that obviously you deserve punishment you know and i think the punishment is your accounts banned your twitch probably will get banned and you know you're going to be branded as a cheater and people are going to remember that people are going to remember you as that and that's a very harsh punishment alone which is fits the crime but I don't think that you deserve to be bullied. I don't think you deserve to be harassed. So I hope that people don't cross those boundaries. And I, I want to say this in this video, as I said in other videos, that don't harass people that you uh, accuse of cheating and don't harass people that have cheated. It really doesn't make help the situation. It just makes the people that aren't cheating toxic towards others. And I know it's it's hard to resist it because, you know, we get angry. Like uh, people who play against you and lose lose their cards get angry. And so I'm sure a lot of anger and frustration has been expressed to you over the past two or so days now that you've been under all of this so um but i just want to say you know i hope that you aren't being harassed and bullied specifically bullied or you know like threatened in any way because uh that's definitely not cool in the situation but um you definitely fucked up bad you know that and uh you know you're paying the price for it yeah. so the last thing i wanted to say for the video and stuff is that i know a lot of this has given you attention and some publicity i know you're a young man and all that and some people say, you know, any publicity is good publicity. But trust me when I say this, like, as an older man, to give you, you know, a young man advice, this is not the type of publicity you want. This is not the type of name you, you want to build yeah. for yourself. Trust me. You do not want to get associated with this. I know that the publicity might feel good. It might feel like, hey, I'm getting attention. I didn't get attention before. But trust me, this is not the way to get attention. This is not. I know that people are doing interviews with you, like myself and others. And I just wanted to make sure to give you a very stern warning that this is not the route you want to go down in life. Trust me, don't cheat in games. Don't cheat in life in general. Trust me, it will not pay off for you in the long run. I promise you that. Yeah, I know.